Thanks for joining us on this Monday. And our top story this half hour takes us to Prince George's County. A young girl is recovering from a bullet wound after an accidental shooting. It turns out the owner of that gun has a violent history. Homa Bash live for us tonight with the latest on how this all happened. Homa. Guys, such a tragedy out here. This happened at the Chevrolet Station Apartments just off Landover Road late last night. Police telling me this four-year-old girl was playing hide-and-seek when she was hiding under a bed, found a loaded ghost gun, and accidentally shot herself in the arm. Now, I want to show you a picture of what that ghost gun looks like. This was provided to us by PG County Police. Ghost guns are unserialized, untraceable, self-made weapons that are fully functional. Police say this one belonged to this man, 20-year-old Javon Thomas. He's a relative of that little girl. He is currently in custody, facing multiple weapons charges. This happened around 1045 Sunday night. No one else in the apartment was hurt. According to data from Everytown Research, there have been 86 unintentional shootings by children in the U.S. so far this year, resulting in 55 non-fatal injuries. One neighbor we spoke with wanted to emphasize the importance of gun safety and making sure weapons are locked up and unloaded. Injury, death, it don't matter. I mean, that's why we got to, you know, practice the gun safety. Simple. Being responsible and knowing how to properly secure your weapons so mishaps like that don't happen. We did some digging and found that in January, Javon Thomas was charged with murder in D.C. for the November 2023 killing of a professional boxer. According to court records, Thomas's defense asked for release in April, and Judge Robert Okun granted that release in the way of home confinement, a.k.a. house arrest, even though he is still facing a murder charge in the district. Here's Prince George's County Council Member Jolene Ivey. We can make all the laws in the world, but we need to be able to get somebody like that off the street. So it's not just the gun that's the problem, he's the problem. So we need to, number one, have fewer guns, and number two, people like that who shouldn't have guns at all need to be locked up. Now, the U.S. Attorney's Office in D.C. telling me he was released over their objection. Neighbors that we spoke with say they saw him move in just a few weeks ago, told me they were concerned because they noticed he was wearing an ankle monitor. As for that little girl, again, she was shot uh, in the arm. She is expected to physically be okay. Emotionally, guys, is, of course, another story.